Hello, welcome to my stream. Tonight we'll be playing more of Final Fantasy VIII and hopefully we can make the game work tonight because last Sunday we tried to stream, we tried to play Final Fantasy VIII and we had some streaming issues. Maybe I should say PC issues, right? Because my PC was being super slow with the game. So the game was laggy, my webcam was also laggy because my computer <clears throat> was working a lot. But I don't know how things are looking tonight. Hopefully my computer can handle the stream, can handle the game, the webcam without major issues like we were playing the game before Sunday, last Sunday. So let me know if things are alright, if things are looking great, uh, at least if it's better than how it was last Sunday. Hey Gabriel, how are you doing man? And Nerly, how, how, how's it going? And you can always stream more Chocobo. I know, right? We streamed Chocobo World last Sunday because the game wasn't working very well. But at least we could finish the exams, right? At least the exams were not too demanding to my computer. So we were able to finish the exams and then we changed to Chocobo World. And on Saturday we were able to finish the Chocobo side quest in the main game. But today I want to go back to the main game. I will have Chocobo World working as well, but I do hope we can play more of Final Fantasy VIII. Especially because this may be my last weekend of streaming in this year. Uh, next weekend I will probably travel to my hometown. I'm still thinking and seeing if something that I have in my mind will work, uh, will work all right to next Saturday or next Sunday. But it's my secret project, the thing that I have been working um, offline and I haven't told you guys a lot about it. But I still need to see if it's going to work. I'm not sure if it, if, if it, if it will be a sure thing, you know, I'm still working on that. But in case, if to, in case if it works, then maybe we can have a surprise for next weekend because I won't be streaming, but maybe I will have that ready to show to you everyone here. But it, there are still some things that can block me from having that ready, so I'm still working on that. But let's be positive, let's be hopeful, and I'm expecting it to work alright. But yes, this may be my last my, my last streaming weekend of the of this year, and if not, then I'll let you guys know on Twitter or something. But yes, that's why I do want this game to work tonight because I do want to play it. I do want to at least find more answers to those side quests because if I go to the to the plot, if I go to plot, it seems that I may be locking myself into plot instead of being able to return to the side quests so i do want to finish the ones i have in here there is one that i'm super curious about but it's still so hard for me to solve the puzzle but we have been progressing on those side quests little by little step by step uh, even if it takes like an entire stream to finish one single side quest but at least we are doing it right we are we are getting there we will get there not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to Riven. Riven is probably going to be the first new game of next year. Because I can't see myself finishing Final Fantasy VIII this year anymore. Uh, we may be playing it again in January. And then after it, we will be playing Riven. And hopefully it works on, on stream. And hey, Joe Dancing, how's it going? How's your Saturday? The surprise is that you are getting a Switch. If only, man. If only. Not yet. I'm planning to get a Switch next year. I'm doing my best to to save some money to, to get it. But no, that's not the surprise. I, I, I won't have that amount of money to get a Switch for next weekend. But next year, let's be hopeful that, that next year I will have one. And then we can play the Smash Brothers Ultimate, right? Especially because now we are getting Joker. Joker on Smash. Hype. But yeah, how's everyone? How's everyone doing on this Saturday? Let's see if the game is working all right. And please don't be laggy. The webcam is all right, right? I think the webcam is all right. What do you guys think about the game? It's playable in my opinion. 
it's much better than last weekend. Even if my computer is struggling, I think this is okay. And by the way, Gabriel, weren't you traveling or something? Oh, you were in sound only mode? Okay, so Joe Dancing Early, can you guys give me some feedback about the game? I think it is playable. Yeah, maybe Gabriel is is in sound, sound mode only because I believe he was traveling or driving or doing something. Looks good. Okay, so we are playing Final Fantasy VIII. And before anything else, let me check the, the Chocobo world, right? Okay, so the Chocobo is in the world, so we can... Wait, you know what? Maybe now I should call him home. That's okay, Early. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope to talk to you later. Yeah, let's call him home now that the Chocobo world is, is closed. So this is safe. And we were able to get friendship, medkit, shotgun ammo, fire ammo, fast ammo, and stone piece, vampire fang, and a laser cannon. So now we can send him back to the world. And I will open the the screen. Uh, let me do that. Actually, I will need to change my overlay a little bit, right? Because last Sunday we were only playing it. So probably we are going to get a huge screen of the Chocobo world. And thank god the computer is responding better than last Sunday. Yeah, just like I was imagining. Now we have the big screen of Chocobo world. Let me do some changes in here. I believe I need to mute it. So let me go to my volume mixer. Yes, I need to mute that. Then I need to change the window. There we go. Next, I will need to minimize that screen. Uh, is Renoa still on her way to get power sealed? Renoa is asleep or unconscious right now uh, that's the last the last thing i remember about her friendship is magic i have used it before if i'm right it summons mod right we have tested it out <clears throat> okay i found the chocobo window Is it too small? Is that too small or is it good? I think that's good. Okay, next we need to change the... The event weight to off. So now the, the Chocobo world can be played by its own. Then I'm going back to Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, everything seems alright. She is awakened, she left Squall. Wait. Man, it's been so long since we were actually doing plot that now I'm a little bit confused. But you guys are right, we returned with Ragnarok and then after landing... No, she's prisoned, right? Uh, they... They, go they got her. And now we should rescue her, right? Because they were afraid of her powers. By they, I, me I, I mean Esther people. They were afraid of her powers and then they locked her somewhere. 
or they tried to imprison her? And then our plan is to try to rescue her somehow from somewhere. Yeah, the last plot thing we have done was getting Ragnarok, and since that day, we have been only exploring around and solving side quests. But I forgot that she was awakened. So where do I want to go? a little bit more help regarding the Solomon's Ring side quest, but on Sunday we were also discussing a little bit about it, and Gabrielle told me that in the magazine I have missed, it talks about the Remedy Plus, but that's all I know, so maybe what I should be doing today, or at first, is trying to find the remaining magazine, the last one, or at least the, the next one that I can get. What do you think about that, Gabriel? Should I try to get the last magazine? The one that I still can find somewhere? I don't want you to give me the location, of course, but I will make some some questions, and maybe those questions will be helpful. It isn't a hard place, so let's go. Hey, Subber, how are you doing, man? How's your Saturday? Welcome. Hopefully, tonight's stream is better than Sunday, right? Okay, so my first question is, is the magazine hidden in a city? Yes or no? If it is in a city, then I'm going to explore all the cities until I find it. But I'm expecting your answer to be no. Wait, it is in a city? Another question. In order to get the magazine, do I need to solve another one of my side quests? What, what I mean is that, is that magazine connected to one of my other side quests? For example, I could return to Dalit and have a card game with the owner of the bar. No, it's not related to other side quests. Okay, because there is the the triple tried game in Dalit. There is the va there are right there are the vase pieces in Windhill. There are some other things that I'm still missing, and maybe they could be related to the magazine. So it's in a city not related to to the side quests. Maybe my last question for now is going to be if the city that has the magazine is that a city from much long ago or is it more like a more recent city that I have been to? That's my last question. I'm doing okay, Subaru. I'm happy to see that the stream seems to be working very well. And I'm also finishing the secret project. I'm working on the final details of it and hopefully I, I can show you guys that later, maybe next weekend. There are still some things that I'm not sure about it, but I'm positive that I'm going to find a way to make it work. And then you guys will be surprised. Yeah, the secret project is almost done. I'm planning to finish it in this week. I was actually working on it before streaming, and it's looking great. It's looking great. I just hope I can have the thing done in the end, because like I was saying, some things are still a problem to me, but I will try to find a way to solve the, those problems, and then we, we will have it. If we, in, in the worst situation, if we're not getting it on next weekend, 
than in the future, but I'm not going to give up. So long, long ago went several times there, or several times there. Okay, so it's not a recent place. Okay, so let's re-explore some cities. The first one that I want to go is actually Timber. It is actually Timber. You said that the magazine is going to be hard to find or hard to get. There is something left in Timber that always got to my attention and I could never really understand what was happening in there. I wonder if it has something to do with this magazine now. And Timber was a place I have been many times, so who knows? If only I could really find it, right? It may be connected to something. Okay, okay. Maybe it is connected to what, what I'm thinking right now. But let's see. actually Timber's Hotel because there was a strange thing happening in here and I could never really understand what what was this about it's related to the to the train right there because that train track it goes inside the room. So... Let's try to go back to that room. Yes. I could never really understand those tracks right there. And the last time I was here, they kind of uh, they kind of did something different. But I don't know if this is over or not. By the way, I forgot to mention that we are going to have some Brazilian food tonight. Uh, last weekend was like the Panetone Chocotone weekend. This weekend it's going to be something else that I have next to me. So I'm going to wait a little bit more until telling you guys the, the dish. I have talked about it many times in the past, especially when it's about some sweet pizzas or some desserts we have in here. And in this week I was able to get the ingredients and now I have it. Yeah, it's one of the sweet pizzas in Brazil. I mean, it's not a pizza, but it's one of the toppings of one of the sweet pizzas in Brazil. And I have discussed and talked a lot about those toppings. Draco, how's it going, man? Thank you so much for the host. That was my guess. It's closed, Joe Dancing. It's closed because it is, like... Uh, it, it's possible to have that as a topping of a pizza. But I don't have the pizza, I only have the topping. You are actually still eating that bread you bought last week? <laughs> I'm sorry that you bought the one from the not-too-good brand, right? But I'm still glad that you could try it out. But if you find, if you ever find the Balduco one, go for it, it's much, much better. How's it going, Draco? How was the end of Triforce Heroes yesterday, man? I couldn't stay there until the end because you guys were streaming until super super late. But I'm glad that I could check some parts of it. I'm doing okay, man. Thankfully, the game is better today than how it was on Sunday. Last Sunday, we couldn't actually play Final Fantasy VIII because my computer was struggling so much. Thankfully, it's better now. It's going very slow. I was trashed. Oh yes, you are drinking a lot. That's right. Oh my god, man. Are you are you having a 
How is it called again? A hangover? Hopefully you, we are not having a hangover. And also you can get some time today to rest. But yes, you were drinking a lot yesterday. I forgot about that. Okay, so I can't find anything special in here. So I'm going to leave. I could make another question about this side quest. But I will save it for later. But it's going to be a very good question. That's the correct term? Okay, hangover. Oh, thank god you don't have one. Just clean up the mess I have made. Oh, really? Oh my god. At least it's, it was only in your room, right? So it can't be too much. But we had a great love scene in Chocobo World. Yes, we were able to progress in Chocobo World. Actually, I wasn't paying attention to it anymore. So let me know if something new happens in there. We also should try summoning. The, the chocobo in one of our fights but I'm going to leave that for later because to do that we would need to call him back home and then send him back to the world it's a lot of work and I think that the most important thing right now is him getting items for us right so as longer he stays in the chocobo world the better your whole apartment what Draco, how, how did you mess with your entire apartment because of yesterday? Oh my god, you split liquor food just another mess? Oh my god, Draco, really man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that, but I know it's, it was worth it. Yesterday we were having a great time in your stream. I'm also surprised with that scene, I was thinking it was only on his bedroom or his room. No, his entire house is messed. Or messed up. Wait. Messed, messy, right? Messy. There we go. Uh, maybe when it reaches level 100, we get uncensored. Uncensored. Chocobo word scene. It was very it was very great, man. It was great. Especially the rivalries between the three players. One killing the other. And no cooper cooperation at all. You guys are crazy. So my first idea is ruined. I don't think the magazine is going to be in Timber Hotel. Kara, right? I totally forgot about the name of Draco's second cat. I couldn't remember that name anymore. It's because that cat is not like camera friendly. It's so rare to see that other cat. When the beat started flowing to throw people off, it got crazy? Wait, the beat started flowing to throw people off? What do you mean by that? She's not friendly, period. I still hate this character in the game so much. I was looking for the real zone Oh, people were donating to you so you could throw yourselves off? Okay, I didn't see that. And hey Riker, how's it going, man? Hopefully you're, you're getting a, a great Saturday. But yes, I, I missed that. Maybe, maybe it got too far, right? You were the only one trying to organize the cooperative mode in the game yesterday. Jay and... Arias, I believe that was his name, they were only causing conf confusion and problems. But what matters is that you guys were having fun. Okay, so I came back to Timber because of the hotel, there was nothing in there. Now I need to think, is it worth for me to stay here? Should I make the question that I want to make? I, I think it is too... It, it, the question that I have in my mind could be ruining the, the mystery, you know? Because it's a very good question. No, I will be patient, and I'm going to re-explore this entire place. 
let's be patient. Let's not fall for the advices yet. You get energy from alcohol? Speaking about alcohol, uh, on Wednesday, I went to the... How can I say it? To the final party or meeting with my English course friends and we went to a bar and in there I tried some new drinks and I have had margaritas and there was a melon margarita or a melon drink that was very good but at the same time I was very surprised about some things first of all why do people add salt and sugar to the margaritas or to the drinks? I was like, this is so bad, it doesn't... It tastes awful with salt or sugar, especially salt. And it also surprised me a lot. I as much as think about having a beer and I need a nap. I also tried to drink some some type of beer but i don't know if you guys have that in in your countries it's called I, I actually believe we have talked about that before but i forgot how's it called in other countries but damn in portuguese it's called shopi i don't know how is shopi in in english or something but okay maybe if i describe it it's not like regular beer it's a beer with a lot of A lot of... I don't know how to say it! Oh my god! Not bubbles, but a lot of... It, it has a... A coat, maybe? A coating? It has a coating on top of it. That's like air and bubbles and... I, I, I don't know how to describe that. A sponge, maybe? It's kind of spongy? Draft beer? Maybe it is draft beer. It's not like regular beer that doesn't have that coat. Foam. Yeah, maybe it is foam. You just Google it? Yes, I, ha I had that. And I prefer that over regular beer because I thought that it was less... Um, less bitter than normal beer. So it was better to my taste. But I wasn't still a fan of that at all. I, I still prefer drinking something else. So yeah, it doesn't. It, it, the one I had had foam, and it was better, but still not my thing. And then I had the margaritas. I had a melon margarita, which was extremely sweet, and it had some salt around the the cup, and the salt was super salty, like super salty. I, I, it made my mouth dry instantly. So I was like, what are those people thinking? Why do why, why are they adding that salt to the cup? Because it's it stays so bad. But I can understand their excuse. It, it's because, oh, the margarita is super sweet, so you should have something salty to balance it, right? But no, the salt was horrible. It tastes horrible. And then the melon margarita was good. Of course, it was extremely sweet, but it was alright. I also had another margarita, I don't remember the name, but it was in a blue color. And then I had a lemon one as well. That was alright, but the best one was the melon margarita. And it surprised me that at first, before I started to drink or things like that, I always imagined people that drink I always imagined that they drink like adult tasting flavors or drinks or something but I was shocked when I had the margarita and it was like extremely sweet as sweet as like a kid's taste you know or even more even more su even sweeter than candy to, to that you give to your kid or that to give to kids. I was shocked. I always thought that we would be having like some serious drinks or not too sweet drinks or like drinks or things that would taste like more adult. 
But no, that thing tastes like a thing that you give to a kid, because it's extremely and heavily sweet. So I was shocked, and that blew my mind. So basically, now, if I'm hanging out with friends or with people and people are drinking, I don't need to expect or to imagine that they are going to be drinking something bitter or something, I don't know, that tastes like alcohol or something that would be like only adults would like. Man, that freaking margarita was so sweet. So it blew my mind. And it was good, I liked it. Uh, was it on the rocks or blended? You guys would need to tell me the, the difference. But I would say maybe... Maybe on the rocks? Because you, you didn't have like pieces of the fruit. I think it was like a mixture of other drinks together. Maybe they had like a melon syrup and then they combined it with the alcohol. So I can't say it was blend, you know, because there, there wasn't a real fruit in, in that drink. It was more artificial. Islushi? Slushy? Slushy? Slushy, right? Slushy? Maybe slushy. Slushy? Drink. On the rocks is poured over ice, blended is ice, ice blended and not cubes. Okay, so there were ice cubes, so it's on the rocks. Yeah, it was powered over ice. Yes. Yes, we had large ice cubes. Yes, so it was on the rocks. I was thinking that blended would also blend fruits, but real fruits into the drink, you know? want to see the dish that I was keeping as a secret for tonight's stream? I, I can eat one right now. Okay, let me show you guys the, the dish. Since we are talking about drinks and food, why not have it right now, right? So, what I have next to me is something that we call in here as Romeo and Juliet. And Romeo and Juliet is a dish or a topping or a flavor that you combine cheese with guava paste. So this is what you have. You have a slice of cheese and a, and a slice of guava paste. Very popular snack in here. They both go very well together because it's like a combination of something sweet and something savory. And this is super good. People bake pizzas of that, croissants, pies, cakes, there are many things that use that combination in here. So this cheese is called white cheese in Portuguese. It's a very fresh cheese. That's all I can say. I don't know if you guys have a very fresh cheese in, in there that's also white. But that's the most common one. Uh, you can combine with any cheese you prefer, but the most common combination is white cheese and guava sweet. And white cheese is a very, very fresh cheese. It's like... Uh, it was made super recent, you know? Or super recently. Soft? It, yes, it's from cow's milk, yes. Do you guys have guava paste in there? If you ever have the chance to find guava paste or to buy it, do it. Do, do, do that favor to you and try eating it with a cheese. It's super good. So 
some would call that a young cheese. Let me show you a, a full picture of it. But that makes that makes sense because it is not an aged cheese at all. It's it's a cheese that it is so fresh that it is intended for you to eat it as soon as possible. And in my opinion, it, it is one of the best cheeses we have in Brazil. Joe Dancing, me too, I think you would love it. And by the way, I'm pretty sure there are some panettones, the dish we were talking about last weekend. There are some panettones with guava paste. Instead of having those raisins and uh, um, candy fruits, I was referring to them as crystallized fruits, but after talking more with you guys, I think you guys were referring to those things as candy fruits. So yeah, without that, they use guava paste, and it I actually have never had it before, but it must be delicious. I know it exists, and this is the white cheese I was talking about. It's very fresh, and of course it is white. I don't know if you guys have that, fr uh, that cheese. Uh, in your countries. I almost said that fish. <laughs> I'm not talking about fish. Guava paste looks super expensive. Okay, maybe it is expensive because I don't think guava is a very common fruit in there. In here, it's not expensive at all. Uh, you can buy guava paste very easily. It's actually pretty common. Kinda of looks like mozzarella. It's still different. It's still very different actually, but I understand why you are making that comparison. Yeah, right Gabriel? It's very different from mozzarella. Yeah, but mozzarella is a young cheese, yes. But it's even fresher than mozzarella. Oh my god, Riker, that's crazy. Yes, that's expensive. In here, you can buy it. <laughs> For, I don't know, one real? Uh, at least you can buy a tiny part, a, a, a tiny snack of it for one real or something? But it's because guava is like very popular here. Guava is easy to buy, easy to find. There are many places with guava juice, fresh guava juice, uh, guava desserts, guava milkshake. You can find guava things everywhere you go right so yes in there guava is is rare it's it's not too common but in here it's super expensive i mean it's super cheap yeah if you google that uh the thing gabriel just said uh queijo de minas if you google that that's one way that we refer to the white cheese in here so if you google queijo de minas, you will see exactly which cheese I'm talking about and I don't think you guys have it. My chocobo got wrecked, really? I mean, that's not too... too uncommon, but feels bad, man. Come on, chocobo. Or boco, right? I don't know his name anymore. You need to get strong. Damn, but that's so sad. I wish you guys could get the guava, the guava paste without spending so much money. But again, if you ever have the chance, go for it. It's delicious and try your best to eat it with cheese. You can thank me later. Can we craft some... We can. Should we go for that that weapon? Although we only have one adamantine, right? Y 
Yeah, we should save the adamantine for the lion heart. Reapable? You love brie? Brie is expensive in here. Now you mentioned uh, an expensive cheese. Yeah, brie is expensive in here. Canada has good brie? I'm pretty sure Canada has great brie. The adamantine. I was thinking that the, the Chocobo world was giving us more quantities of it, but it seems we still only have one. Oh, it is expensive in there too? Yeah, in here it's a very expensive cheese. Shop. Let's go to the to the lower part of the city. The timber maniacs. Okay, Gabriel, I will make one question here. I know that. No, you know what? I, will, I won't make that question because I will do it anyways. But what I was about to, to, to ask was if I would need to like talk to people twice. And I will be doing that because you told me before that one thing I have missed was because I haven't spoken to people again. Because it seems that some NPCs can have different dialogues. So I'm going to talk to people twice. Because that sucks, you know, sometimes you are in the right place, in the right time, but then you don't think the NPC would have more to say. And then you lose something because of that. We have read all the battle series. He's telling us some new things. Uh, have you seen my, my work yet? It's a collection of photo fo photographs. It's a collection of photographs titled Jacked Over Skin, the Beautiful Women Edition. It's a major sellout and we don't have any in stock. Does he play cards? He doesn't. What about that guy? Okay, he doesn't play cards either. the person related to it okay Right. 
yes, I will check it out. I'm also curious about the card game rules in here, but to be honest, I think they are going to be bad. Centra's rules, those are horrible. Uh, by the way, Riker, I forgot to, t to tell you, and also John Danson and Gabriel. Gabriel knows that because I told it, I told it to him. Uh, when I was talking to him, but we have Final Fantasy IX. We have Final Fantasy IX thanks to Lady Mitra. Lady Mitra was nice enough to to give it to us. So we are going to play that for sure next year. It's now confirmed. It's officialized. And then I will do my best to get Final Fantasy X as well. But I don't think my computer is going to handle it very well, but I will use the gift card that I can use on that once it gets on sale and hopefully on the Christmas sale or something. to be here because I'm starting to lose my hope but let's check the last areas which are those ones you saw the update the update in the steam activity timeline yeah right they do tell it in there they they may tell the games I'm getting right I also got the Lego Hobbits game for free thanks to Humble Bundle. It was one of the few games they gave away that could actually interest me a little bit. So I was glad that I could get it. Not sure if they are still giving it away, but if you haven't gotten it, then check it out and see if you can still get a free copy or a free stinky of Lego The Hobbits. house because we kind of ruined everything in here before thanks to the money they were saving that dialogue says it uh, have I talked to that guy That girl only tells me the train schedule. Uh, Gabriel, are you still only listening to the to the sound of the stream? Oh, Gabriel, I don't think they are actually meant to to kids. They may have some childish graphics or something. But those games are fun, at least that's what my friends tell me. Especially one of them, that there is a friend of mine that loves the LEGO games. And he says those games are su super fun. There are some smart kids, yes, there are some crazy smart kids. Actually, every time I'm watching people playing games like, like this one, for example, to be honest. Um, Oh, I have played this game when I was a kid, and I'm like, really? Because this game can be hard at times, or with some boss fights and puzzles and stuff. 
And then people, yeah, but I beat it when I was young. And I was like, really? Damn. Never underestimate the kids. They are fun. I haven't played them myself, but I can think they are fun. Uh, or I think they are fun. Okay, I have been everywhere, right? Let's leave. It's not in Timber. What? Okay, at least we could find something. Not what I was expecting. Not something extra useful. But... Thanks. Quest is his boss. So, does that mean that depending on my party members, I, I, I will have like different things going on? Man, you are doing a great job by listening to the stream and being able to... to like... reply to me in a very good way, like if you were actually watching everything and seeing everything. Because it feels to me that you are like watching it too, you know, by your replies. But yes, I'm leaving Timber. Let's go somewhere else. Maybe Dealing City? Dealing City, Dollet. There is the Balan Garden, but we have been to Balan Garden many, many times and. I don't see anything else in there. Let's give a shot to Dealing City, why not? Also, we have been to Dalit some couple times. So, I will try Dealing City. There is also Wind Hill, but Wind Hill, in my opinion, was more like a recent place. Not too recent, of course, but. It felt like it was more recent than those other areas, you know? So I'm going to try finding the magazine in Dealing City. Yes, I, I said that, but still I... I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed with your replies. Your mom bakes a lot of cookies and stuff for Christmas, she just gave me a bunch. The best are buck eyes, which are basically balls of peanut butter covered in chocolate. Wait, that sounds like one dessert in Brazil, but with chocolate, not with peanut butter. That sounds great, man. So, you don't need to, like, bake the peanut butter? That reminds me of Brigadeiro, which is probably the most popular Brazilian dessert. Which are like chocolate balls. And very tasteful ones. So, buck eyes. That looks amazing! That looks great! Uh, they are made in a double boiler, so you need to cook them. I'm pretty sure they are delicious. I'm kinda sad that I haven't cooked that uh, when I had the peanut butter. Brazilian dish that I was talking is this one. Uh, they are like chocolate balls. That's probably the most 
popular or famous Brazilian dessert. Puvian, how's it going, man? Welcome! I'm doing alright! I'm happy that the game is working very well tonight. Last Sunday I was trying to play it and we really couldn't because my computer was struggling a lot. So instead of playing the main game, we decided to play Chocobo World. But thank God tonight we are have we are having both working. And yeah, we are food talking. One of them are probably like a million calories, but they are so good. Oh yeah, the the Brazilian one is also very caloric. So yes. But they are delicious. I will see if next year I can buy some some of those Brazilian desserts because we have that one that's the most common one but we have a variety a large variety of those things there are coconut ones there are plum ones there are strawberry ones there are dulce de leche ones we have many of those tiny snacks uh, dessert snacks especially if you go to a kid's birthday party or something because then you will find millions of those tiny things in those parties to eat so i will see if i can buy a package of those things and show them on one of my streams okay so we are back to dealing city i i need to talk to people i don't think those guards will have it but let's talk to them anyways right Wait, Zypher now has control over the Galbadian forces? So my theory was right. I was thinking that Zypher was the one in control or the one controlling the lunatic Pandora, right? I heard Zypher... Is that his surname? Uh, Zypher Almasi? is now in league with the sorceress named Otimicia. Yeah, I believe that's his surname. Interesting that they are giving me a lot of new dialogues in here, and interesting ones. With sorceress Otimicia behind us, Esther and its technology are nothing. We can beat them so easily, it will, it will be a second coming of their sorceress war. Okay, so now they are against Esther. Uh, you celebrate Christmas? Yes, I do. In Christmas, we have that uh, that dish that Joe Dancing bought last weekend, the the panettone or the chocotone, the one with chocolate. You are so far behind in this game, there are more sorceries? Yes, uh, do you want me to talk about it? Because if you are far behind, maybe I would be spoiling it to you. But there are more sorceries, yes. Because it seems that... In every period of time, there used to be a sorceress. And this game does a lot of... Things connected to the past, to the future, and to the present, so that introduces many different sorceries to us, you know. And we have at least four sorceries, I would say, or three, depending on who who you would consider are sorceries or not. And someone is telling me that they they always have been against Esther. You mean Otimisha? You mean Galbadia? I'm confused because he's talking about Otimicia. Oh wait, okay I get it, it's Galbadia. Because with Sorcerer's Otimicia behind us, so like, with Galbadians, Esther and its technology are nothing, so it's Galbadia Esther War, right? I was thinking that it could have been Otimicia, but I wasn't sure why would she be against Esther. I mean, the, the Esther people, they don't like the sorcerers, but how would they know about Otimicia? So I was a little bit 
confused. Uh, let's talk to to that guard. Uh, it looks like Zypher is taking over now that General Caraway is out. Wait, what happened to the general? He's not at home? Uh, Sabri is saying Esther was once a threat to the world because it was controlled by Edel and then Edel was imprisoned by Esther but they haven't exactly... They haven't exactly made amends with everybody, right? That's true, that's true. Um, when I was visiting Esther for the first time, they were surprised that we, they were getting a visitor from other areas or from other cities. Or they were surprised that a foreigner was there, right? And it's mostly because they were not like in peace with everybody else. Gabrielle is saying, imagine that instead of Renova or Elon, she tried to get selfie? Oh no! Not at all. Let's not even consider that chance. But the general is still here. Wait, what? He's talking about a new sorceress in town? Like, now in Dealing City? She's at the forefront of history. What is she conspiring? It's all very mystifying. Train domination would happen if Selfie was the sorceress. Yes. That's for sure. But a sorceress in town? The new leader of the armed forces? I would like to see how she does. Yeah, it appears there is a new sorceress in town. That's interesting. What if I get this shortcut again? Yeah, it it gets me to the sewers, right? Do, do I have Ink Gnome? I do have Ink Gnome, so let's go, let's explore. Maybe there is something new in that, in that area. We haven't been there for a long time. World Train Domination. It's just a way of saying... Oh, okay, so it's not necessarily uh, literally speaking, right? Wait, what, Saburo? The sewers are the... Oh, okay, okay, I get it, okay. Okay, in the Chocobo world, we are, uh, Chocobo was fighting that... Gooey monster, right? That blob. And then it, it happened in the same time as we started getting to the sewers. Okay, I understand it now. I was thinking the sewers were like the biggest threat to the chocobo and then I was like, why? But it's because of that monster, I remember him. Can I actually do something in here? This reminds me of Xenogears a lot. I remember one area in there that had sewers. And... we had some trouble solving the puzzles of those sewers because it was very confusing oh actually Subaru is not referring to the blood monster He's referring to the shadow one. Oh yeah, I do remember him as well. He was the first monster that gave me life. 
uh, we could draw life magic from him. I remember him. Why are sewers such labyrinths in RPG? You know what's funny? Many of Square RPGs they have sewers. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember Final Fantasy VII right now. Uh, do you guys remember if Final Fantasy VII has a sewers dungeon? But Chrono Trigger has one. Chrono Cross has one. Zeno Gears had one. Super Mario RPG has one. But I don't know about Final Fantasy VII. I can't remember. Isn't it funny that many of those games have sewers dungeons or something? But I really can't remember if Final Fantasy VII had one. I don't think it had. Wait, it had tunnels. But tunnels are not sewers. But all the other games I can remember areas that they were very close to sewers. No, Gabriel, come on. It's because one of the most remarkable dungeons in Xenogears, in my opinion, was the sewers one. Because we had a very impressive boss fight in there. I, I won't give it details in case somebody has never played Xenogears, but the boss in there was very surprising. And thanks to him, I still remember the, the dungeon. Not to mention that it had a map, and we needed to analyze the map every time to see where we were going to and things like that. Yeah, th that water is very clear, right? It's very clean. Uh, it's very clean. Sewers are the real-life dungeons. That makes sense. But you guys can't remember Final Fantasy VII having sewers as well, right? Am I getting stuck in here? I really feel like I'm getting stuck. I'm trying to interact with those spinning wheels, but I can't. Oh, maybe if I go to that other side? But is this the exit? Or is this the, the new area I wanted to return? Wait, no, never mind, this is more craziness. Subway is saying when you go to the mansion, he throws you in the in the sewers, and then you leave. Oh, okay. Subway is giving me the part of Final Fantasy VII that has sewers. Yeah. I mean, I remember the the Don Carnell's mansion, and I remember the train cemetery that happens afterwards, but I don't remember the bit in between part of it. But you are telling me it's sewers, so okay, Final Fantasy VII also had sewers. I don't remember the, the sewers in there anymore. I do remember the mansion, I do remember the, the, cem the cemetery, but the sewers were erased from my mind. Okay, Gabriel, alright man, take care, and I hope to talk to you later.
Oh, we finally got to somewhere higher, but those... Uh, there is a huge gate in here that we can't open. A sewer boss? I'm starting to remember! I'm starting to remember, I remember now. Okay, I think I remember now. I think I remember now, but at the same time... I hope I'm not thinking on Chrono Cross, because my memories are a little bit fuzzy. But I think I remember now. Thanks to that pattern, I won't be surprised if in Final Fantasy IX we have a, a sewers dungeon as well. Nightmare, thank you so much for the raid. How's it going, man? How was the end of your Tails game? Hopefully you didn't have another problem with your PC. Yes, yeah, Subaru, I know. Chrono Cross, I remember the, the sewers in there. He had like a tidal wave attack with sewer water. Oh my god. Maybe I'm glad that I have forgotten about that. But I remembered a little bit. I, I could remember it a little bit. But in comparison to the all other games, my memories are way better for the, the, the other games, but Final Fantasy VII. It was great, your controller disconnects once in a while for some reason. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But we fixed it super easily, didn't happen again, thanks to save stating, right? Thanks to, to the save state. We are just exploring, we are not doing any plot development or, so, or something. I'm trying to return to some old areas because I'm trying to solve some side quests that are still left for me to solve them and the one that i'm focusing the most uh Chloe cola thank you so much for the follow the one that i'm focusing the most tonight is the solomon's ring side quest i don't want you guys to help me out with that i'm trying to follow my leads and it's very complicated this side quest is very hard but I know the reward is going to be something good, because they talk about a garden force. And I'm trying to find... Wh where are my magazines? Oh, there they are. Yeah. It is related to those magazines. And it is also related to that ring right there, the Solomon's ring. I'm trying to find another issue of those magazines that will probably help me out. And in order to do that, I have been returning to the cities in the game talking to everyone, and going back to everywhere in order to find that missing magazine. So that's my main ob objective, so probably we won't be doing a lot of progress, but at least while I struggle trying to find that magazine, you guys can pay attention to the Chocobo World minigame. God bless save states, yes right, thankfully it was not a big deal and you could save the, the state. Oh I did it! <laughs> I did it! I thought I was still lost in this place. But yes, I wanted to return here because it's been like forever since we last uh, got in here. So I wonder, is there something new, different? Everything's the same? Let's check it out. I mean, we can go up there, right? Are you serious? Are you telling me we can't climb the, the boxes anymore? Okay, this is dumb. Renoa could do it easily when she was first in here. Really? We can't go upstairs and see the, the things in there? The, the building? We can't enter the building again? We can't. Okay, that's... that's bad. That's a shame. All my effort to return to this place was in vain. But... That happens, right? That happens sometimes. 
Summary is saying that the scenery or the the area, that area, only exists in the first CD. That's why the game is blocking me. But in the first CD, I wasn't able to return there, right? Because if I remember it right, the moment, the moment, the moment that the first CD ends is just after the battle against the sorceress. And in order to achieve that battle, this entire dungeon is, is done. Or has to be done. And then you are not allowed to return to it. But still, my memories are confusing sometimes, so I'm not sure if I'm really remembering everything. But anyways, at least returning to the sewers gave us something to discuss on the chat. And I was very surprised by that, because since my RPG, all the square... RPG games that I can remember, they had at least one sewers area, and that's crazy that this area was worth it for that thought, because I have never realized that before. And I will pay more attention, I, I'm curious to see if Final Fantasy IX will have a sewers area as well, because Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, my RPG, Final Fantasy VII, what about Final Fantasy VI? Was there a sewers area in Final Fantasy VI? I also can't remember. But Final Fantasy VII, Xenogears, and now Final Fantasy VIII all had one sewers area or dungeon. No, nothing good, Joe Dancing. We are leaving because the the place where I was heading to was blocked. Because according to Subaru, after the first CD, you are not allowed to go back there. I wanted to go back to the mansion where the sorceress gave her speech and where Renoa tried to go there by herself and she was knocked out by the sorceress. I was curious to see if something was left in there. But we can't reach it. We're purple now, yeah! Just like the glasses of the cool cat. Yeah, right, Riker? Do you guys remember if Final Fantasy VI had a sewers area? It's also a very... It's also a very good area for, like, connection between places, right? Or stealth. Uh, if you need to go to a place in a very stealthy way, then just add a sewers to the game. But it's still surprising, in my opinion, that all those games had one. Didn't really? Yeah, I can't really remember Final Fantasy VI having sewers. But it has been a long time since I, I played Final Fantasy VI, and I played a lot of other games after it, so... My Final Fantasy VI memories are shitty right now. Can we talk to somebody there? We can't. So where else can I go in this, in this city? We can go to the hotel. Uh, we can go to the shop. There wasn't anything in here, right? But I will check it out again. Uh, it had pretty unique dungeons, which is one of the reasons I like it so much. Uh, Rion, welcome, how's it going? Yes, we have been playing those very classic RPGs, right? 
I do remember you here while Chrono Cross. Yeah, if I remember it right, but again, my memory not is not the best one. But if I remember it right, you were here by the time I was exploring Chronopolis, and that stream was a very crazy stream. But I do remember it very well because it was such an amazing place to explore. And I think you were in here by that time. But how's it going? Yeah, Final Fantasy VI had Train Factory Volcano. It had the, the mountains as well. It also had the... The snowy area, right? How was it called? Narsh? I believe it was called Narsh. It even had an ocean area as well. You were looking for the ingredients to build the flying boat. Oh, were, so you were here by that day? Okay, so maybe it wasn't during Chronopolis, but... Yes, I also remember that stream, because I struggled so much, and it was thanks to Subaru that I could get some help to solve that puzzle. Oh, wait! The flying boat. Yeah, the flying boat was the... Okay, it's correct. Yeah, it was related to one character that I won't say it in here, because I don't want to spoil Chrono Cross. But yes, it's correct. It was a flying boat. Yeah, and then after Chrono Cross, we played Final Fantasy VII and then Xenogears. And there is nothing in here, let's leave. We also played some other games, but not JRPGs. But as main RPGs, those were the, the games. Yep. We played those two, those two were great games as well, F especially Final Fantasy VII, I really liked Final Fantasy VII a lot, so far my favorite Final Fantasy game. Yes, yeah, Subaru, I remember that the first time I met you, you were helping me with that side quest in Chrono Cross, because I was struggling so much, and in the end it was my fault. Totally my fault. I was assuming that I was. Uh, I was assuming that I had returned to all the places I, I needed to go, but I was missing one, and that one was the place that had my. my desired item, right? To progress. Oh, you have started Xeno Gears? But only got as far to sinking in the desert. Oh, yeah, you are still in the very beginning of the game. I really recommend you to keep playing it, it's an amazing game. Do your best to understand the plot of it, because it is super confusing. And also, always upgrade your characters and especially your gears. Because many fights in that game are very hard. Very hard. We have a collection of clips of this channel when I was fighting the bosses of that game and I was winning in my last possible attack. That's how clutch it was to play Zeno Gears. So yeah, be careful and do your best to understand the plot because it gets pretty weird and confusing, but it's very worth it. Zeno Gears had the best plot twist I have ever seen in a video game, most likely. So very amazing game, especially to, because of the plot. The plot's very interesting. I do hope you give it another chance, also because of the music. The music is beautiful. It's beautiful, especially the late game music. Beautiful. There is, there are, right? There are two areas in there that I won't say it because it could be a spoiler. But those two areas had like my favorite songs of the game easily. Yeah, the the, the, the game is very dark. Don't 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 think it it will get better because it doesn't. But yes, it's very dark. Yes, it's still very confusing, and it's going to be always confusing, but it is worth it. It is worth it. If you understand the plot twist that will happen later, it's totally worth it. But you need to pay a lot of attention, because it, it is very confusing. 
It's funny because I also thought that Chrono Cross was extremely confusing, but I have the feeling that Xenogears is more confusing than Chrono Cross, but I could understand more of Xenogears than Chrono Cross. At least that was my final impression. Maybe because Riker was there helping me out with Xenogears plot. But, yes, I felt like Xenogears would be worse than Chrono Cross regarding complexity. I think it was, but I could understand it more than Chrono Cross. Maybe because I was also trying hard to follow everything that was happening, and every stream I was trying to, like, theorize and imagine and speculate about what the hell was happening in that game. I was trying to keep my, my mind fresh. Because I know that if I if I missed something, probably I would struggle a lot to really understand what the hell was going on. And Chrono Cross had some moments that I could like chill down and forget about the plot for some time. And then suddenly the plot would develop a lot. And maybe I wasn't like super prepared for those moments and that's why I got very lost later. But in Zeno Gears, I was expecting the worst, I was expecting complexity, and I was struggling and doing my, my best to not get too lost regarding everything that was going on. Joe Danson is thinking about playing Chrono Trigger soon. Chrono Trigger is amazing. I wonder if you can play Chrono Trigger in a new way, for example. I wonder if there is a Chrono Trigger randomizer, for example. Maybe there is one, because many games have randomizer versions today, right? Not having to figure out the plot on your own might help. No, I don't like dropping stuff, no, 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 Riker was helping me with, like, refreshing my memory. I, I was, like, making questions and giving my impressions and my ideas. And Riker was just organizing my ideas, you know? No, 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 I don't like when people are, like, throwing all the information and not allowing me to really understand things by my own, no. Uh, Xenogears plot isn't, like, super complex, there is just a lot to it, and it's... and it encompasses a, lo a long amount of time. That's also true! That's also true, the, it's like the game has a lot to say, but sometimes it goes super fast. Wait, Joe Dancing, you have never played Chrono Trigger? I was expecting that you were, uh, you were wanting to replay it. Okay, so if you have never played it, go for it, Joe Dancing. What are you waiting for? I would totally play a randomized version someday. I do want to play at least Mario RPG randomizing. There is a Chrono Trigger randomizer. Oh, by the way, I should be talking, but also exploring, right? Or we are never going to leave this place. I didn't know, Joe Dancing, that you... You are missing Chrono Trigger. Totally go for it. Great game. Are you also missing Chrono Cross? Because you got to my channel thanks to Final Fantasy VII, right? So by that time I had already played uh, Chrono Cross. So I don't know if you have played Chrono Cross. Probably not. Uh, you finished watching a stream of Andy playing some... SMZ3 random randomizer? Wait, what's SMZ? Yeah, Rion, and there is another thing too. So, some of those games, they are better if you play them like a little bit of every day, or if you can play them regularly, but what I have been doing on my streams, for most cases, I have been playing those games only during the weekends. And because of that break between one stream and another, I can easily forget important stuff. 
I can easily forget names, places, plot, side quests, and things like that. That's why I also try to to take notes of names and areas and then side quests that I'm missing. So every time I return to the channel, I return to streaming, I read those notes and I refresh my memory. But maybe if I was playing like Xenogears or Chrono Cross every day, I could follow the game better, you know? I could understand it better. But what I was doing was like playing them on the weekends, then turning off my memory and my mind, focusing on, re focusing on my real life, and then once I was returning to stream, I would need to re remember the things, the details. So that, that was also a problem. Oh, really? Toe Dancing were still new to Twitch by that time? Have you ever heard of Super Mario RPG Armar Armageddon? It's a relatively popular mod of Super Mario RPG. Oh, Joe Dancing is also missing Chrono Cross. I recommend that you play it on some permutation of Super, or, of Super NES, or maybe DS, but not PlayStation. You are talking about Chrono Trigger, right? And I think I know why you are saying that. It's probably because of the extra endings. Especially the DS one. The DS version has the... The PlayStation endings, plus, I believe, one new ending? But I played the original, I played the Super Nintendo version. Frame, how are you doing? Welcome! So, I'm exploring. Uh, I may be in a wrong place, I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. Don't let me know if I am in the wrong or in the right place. But my objective right now is trying to find another magazine related to the Solomon's Ring. That's what I'm trying to do. And by doing yes or no questions on the chat, Gabriel told me that I can find the magazine that I'm missing in one of the cities. So I have been returning to the cities trying to find it. But then of course I started to chat, so I haven't been doing a lot of progress. But that's my main objective right now. I'm returning to cities trying to find another magazine, another occult fed magazine that will hopefully help me out with that side quest. Since I'm here, I'm going to do some shopping. I really don't want to progress in the plot, because people have been telling me that if I keep doing plot, I will get myself stuck. And then I will probably not be able to finish the side quest I have started. So yes, I'm I'm still giving the side quest I have in here another chance. And hopefully we can solve this one tonight. Even if it takes the entire stream. At least the Chocobo side quest is over. The the exams are also over. So little by little we are getting there. And at least this side quest in, uh, in particular, I know it's going to be worth it. Super Metroid and Zelda? I still need to play Super Metroid. Wait, S and Z3 refers to Super Metroid crossed with A Link to the Past random. Wait, what? You can like have the two games together? Really? I know. I have some friends that they play A Link to the Past Rando. I actually played it once myself as well. It was the 100 followers celebration stream. Because A Link to the Past was the first game I have streamed. So I wanted to celebrate the, the occasion with that. But mixing it with Super Metroid, really? I should tell my friends about it. But first, before playing it myself, I need to play Super Metroid. 
there is a point of no return, right? That's why I have been still using my time in those side quests. But thankfully, while I'm not doing or finding anything in, in particular or special, you guys can still give some attention to the Chocobo World minigame, right? Thankfully, it's in there to distract you all. You did a few races on Super Metroid plus a Link to the Past. It's a thing! How can you play both games together? What? They teleport you back and forth? You are going to join the tourney? Oh my god! Is it is it something like super new or does it does it mean wait? Has it been happening? There we go. Has it been happening for some time? That's crazy. I need to tell my friends about that. Especially Draco West. I'm not sure if Draco is still in here. But I'm definitely going to tell Draco about that. I want to go to the hotel now. Do I need to go north? Yes. The arm is getting all worked up over a ruin. It appears that Zypher guy is behind it all. What is he after? Even if I can't find a magazine here, I'm glad that the, the people in here have new dialogue. Because now they are all talking about Zypher and the Galbeda forces or the Galbeda army. So this is different. Were we living a nightmare? I I seem to have lost all sense of control. It's not a nightmare. Uh, let's try talking to those people right there. Okay, go back to the hotel. The combo random was released early this year? Maybe Draco knows about it, but I have never seen him talking about it. I, to be honest, I haven't been to many of his uh, randomizer streams. I have been watching him play some other games instead. So maybe he was aware of it and he was talking about, uh, about it in one of those streams. But I will talk to him later for sure. Because he should know about that. Welcome, please step up to the counter. That's not going to give us anything, right? We have been there before. But about the randomizer games, the one that I really want to play the first is Mario RPG. I do want to play Mario RPG randomizer. Yeah, he plays Zelda Rando especially on weekend. Wait, on weekends and especially on Sunday. Uh, it's Draco West. He was here earlier, but I'm not sure if he's lurking or something. He plays many games. Um, his channel is pretty great. He also has many giveaways and things like that. Yesterday he was doing a... Um, how is it called? A multi-stream? Yeah, he was doing a multi-stream, a multi-special stream with, with two other streamers. And they were playing Triforce Heroes with giveaways in the end. So it's a pretty good place. I recommend, I recommend you to check his channel out. And on Sundays it's his Zelda. And he often plays Zelda Randomizer, especially A Link to the Past, but sometimes he plays other ones as well, like Ocarina of Time Randomizer. <laughs> yes, Joe Dancing, those are commands in his channel. Kara? Not Kara, actually, but Hilo. Hilo is an actual command. Yeah, it's Zelda. Yeah, Zelda is Sunday. I guess that is the first Zelda in the NES, because I don't know him. 
Maybe he just don't race? He use it too! But like I was saying, I'm not sure if he's still doing races. I think he is actually. But he used it to race. Some other streamers. But I haven't been to his L days that often. I have been watching him playing Chrono Cross. Uh, he's also playing Chrono Cross on Thursdays. And he also has a spooky game on Friday. He always plays a spooky and horror game on Fridays. But I have been mostly watching him play Chrono Cross. Inverted is pretty awesome. I ran my first inverted seed trying to clear TT. What's TT? TT to me is triple trial. <laughs> With three hearts was not easy for me. I'm not that good yet. Oh my god, Gabriel! <laughs> okay. Okay, TT is triple triad and Zelda has double L. It's spelled with double L. And by the way, guys, Gal uh, not Galbadia. I read Galbadia in there, but I was thinking on Dealing. Dealing City is not the place. I couldn't find a magazine here. I'm leaving. No, no, no. It was Zelda because of Zelda. TT as in Thieves Town, Dungeon 4 in Dark World Link to the Past. Oh yes, I remember that dungeon. By the way, was the cursor always there and you guys haven't said anything? I just noted the cursor in there. Really? You guys were not bothered by the cursor? At all? Oh my god! <laughs> okay! I'm sorry about the cursor because I was also not paying attention to it, but thankfully I could see it eventually. So Timber is down, Dealing City is down. Let's go maybe to Dollet? We could also go to Windhill, but like I was saying, I think Windhill is a little bit like late cities that I have visited. So I will go to Dollet. Wait, I need to remember, Dollet was there, right? Yeah, that's Timber. If I keep following the, the railroad, I will find it. Wait, but that railroad. Yeah, that it is. Okay, Dalet is our third city of the night. We have been to Dalet many times before, but maybe I'm still missing something here? Flight music reminds. Wait, remind. Remind anyone else of Never End the Story? You know what's funny? If I have ever watched that movie, I don't remember it anymore. I don't think I have ever watched it. I know which movie you're talking about, but. I may not have watched it. And I know it's a classic, and I know that I should watch it. We have been to the Dollet Hotel before, right? But just in case I'm going to... to stay. Yes, I'm pretty sure we have checked this before. At least another movie that was a classic I was able to watch it last year, and it's Labyrinth, with David Bowie. Took me forever to watch that movie, but I finally did it last year. Can 
can't say that I recommend it, but it's one of those movies that sometimes or some pop culture can talk about it and you realize it's a classic and I was curious enough to watch it. You like this dancing song? It's very nice. It's very charming. I read the book ages ago and I love it. Never end the story? I don't know why, but I... I don't think I have ever seen a book of it. I know there is a book of Labyrinth because it was recently published in here in Brazil. I mean, maybe not for the first time, but a new edition of it. The movie is okay and I don't want to be stereop stereotypical, but the book is way better a bit darker and, and less of a kid's thing. I would say that one of the few examples that I can recall right now, that in my opinion of course, I think that the movie was better than the book, was in Fight Club. I read the book after watching the movie, and the book was much worse in my opinion because it was so hard for you to follow everything that was going on by reading the book. It was confusing, not very well written. I got lost many times and I lost my interest on reading that book, but I finished it and I thought the movie was much, much better. So that was one example, one of the few cases, in my opinion, where the movie was better than the book. But there is another thing too as well, but it's not a movie, it's a series. In my opinion, the 13 Reasons Why series on Netflix is way better than the book, because it is more complex, and they develop the characters more in the series than in the book. In the book, things are shorter. So I also prefer the series than the book. A summary saying from Never Ending Story, I can only remember a big giant dragon dog, Michu, and the Digimon Magnadramon always reminds you of that giant dragon dog. Yes, I remember the kid flying on top of him. That's one of the most famous scenes of that movie, right? But I don't know that dragon dog name, because I don't think I have ever watched the movie. I don't even know the main character of Never Ending Story's name. Falkor? Is Falkor the name? Falkor. And Art... Art Ryu? Who is who? <laughs> who is the dog dragon and who is the main character? Falkor sounds like the main character. There is also Scarface. Have I ever watched Scarface? If I haven't watched Scarface, I know it has an amazing soundtrack because one of my friends, uh, Gio, sent me one of the songs from Scarface and I loved it. Atreyu is the horse. Horse? Wait, not horse, he's like a giant dog dragon. Oh, wait. Wait, what? There is a horse as well. Okay, there is a horse. Atreyu is the main is the main character, Falkor is the dragon, and Artax is the horse. Pretty weird names to be honest. <laughs> you mistakenly thought Atreyu was the kid just now for a second? I don't... I don't know. I gotta watch that movie as soon as possible. I will do my best to watch it actually, now I'm super curious. And it's a classic. I know it's my own fault. I do know that scene. I do remember a swamp in that uh, movie. But I didn't know what was going on in there. 
So I probably have seen the swamp before in one video that was probably talking about never never ending story, but I couldn't remember that the, the horse died in there or something. It it is a spoiler, but at the same time I have seen the swamp before. But I couldn't remember what was happening in there. Maybe I was watching something like top 10 saddest deaths in movies or something, and maybe it was listed in there. I do watch many top 10 videos on YouTube, and sometimes they 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 bring those scenes, right? No, I'm not. I'm not mad at you, Joe Dance. No way. After you said. Artex Bible Top, I was actually pretty much aware that something bad was happening with him. So it's cool. I know why there is a Natriu quote. Wouldn't that be Falcor shouting for the kid while he's lost in the storm clouds? Oh yeah, Harry Potter has some some pretty heavy deaths. I hate that guy up there. But in order to do something ab about him, I'm pretty sure we need to... to win a triple tried card game against this guy right here, but the rules are always messed up. Always messed up. You see, central rules and ours. That's a nightmare. Yeah, he has random. It's actually only random that's bothering me right now. If we could remove random, we would be good for this. Open random same. Yeah, random is the worst. The only reason why I'm not playing cards against this guy is because of random. Every time I return to this place, Random is... is working. But I have the feeling that after beating him, I will be able to go past that door. And then something good is, is waiting for me there. Maybe, but Random was there before. So it's not changing anything right now. So this is starting to worry me because thanks to Gabrielle I know that the magazine is one is is in one of the cities. Oh maybe it is in Bellum? Okay, if it is not in here, I'm going back to Bellum. Because yeah, it's going to be like my last hope. How's it going, man? Uh, which magazine? I'm trying to find the Occult Fan magazine. 
the one that I'm missing. I know there is one that it's lost forever, but I'm trying to find the one that I can still find. And by doing some yes or no questions earlier, I learned that it's in one of the cities. And it's in one of the cities that I... Uh, that were like from long, a long time ago, not one of the most recent cities. And I have been back to Dealing City, I also returned to Timber, now I'm exploring Dolet, and if it's not in here, I'm going back to Bellum, and it's going to be my final hope. So if it, it's gotta be either in here or in Bellum. Yes, I'm looking for the Occult Magazines, because I do want to finish that side quest. And I was able to find two magazines, I know one was lost forever, according to people on the chat. And there is one that I can still find, it's in one of the cities, that's why I have been returning to the cities. Uh, it looks nice. You didn't even know this room existed? Wait, which room? I can go to Windhill, yes. But in my opinion, Windhill is one of the cities that I... I have visited recently. You mean this door? Dollet, Gabriel. Oh, wait. How can I do that, Remito? I know we have learned that, right? Because of... Cactuar, or was it Tonberry? I think it was Cactuar. No? So it was Tonberry. Oh, never mind. We still we are still learning it, Rimito. Yeah, if you want to call for a shop, we need to learn that first. Uh, be be careful to not give me too many information, or maybe too much information, right? Yes, I'm after the Luna Cry. The Tico guy? I do hate quests that get blocked. Me too. Especially when you are playing the game for the first time. And sometimes you know that there is a side quest going on. But because you never know what's going to happen next, then you can lose it. Yeah, they do that, right? That's why I take my time when I'm playing a game. If I find a side quest or if I suspect of something, I will do my best to solve them. That doesn't mean that I will be able to solve them all. But I will do my best to solve them. I will return to places. I will take days or streams returning to them, trying to solve them. And once I... Once I'm out of resources or ideas, then I'm going to plot. I'm going to progress. It can also not be that worth it. For example, many of the side quests here, in my opinion, were not worth it. Regarding the, the reward, at least. The Chocobo one we have completed last weekend was definitely not worth it. The one with the lake, Obel's lake, that was the worst one and not worth it at all. Super hard, complex, horrible reward. But still, I'm curious. I want to finish them. I want to see what's happening. So we did it. Oh, you missed out on Xenoblade Chronicles? Xenoblade Chronicles has a lot of side quests. 
so I'm not surprised you missed some of them. They have a lot of side quests. I'm also a comple completionist, 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 right? So I feel the pain. At least more modern RPGs like Tales of Zillia? Tales of Zillia and Xenoblade Chronicles have logs. Yeah, I don't know anything about Tales of Zillia, but Xenoblade Chronicles do, uh, do, does have, right? Does have logs. That lake was the worst, seriously. It was so painful. I even add that lake to my trivia section on my description, on the channel's description down there. Most hard side quest I have ever done on stream. Obel's Lake. Because it was extra confusing, extra complex for nothing in the end. And it had many different puzzle pieces to it. It's so misleading, you know? So it was super painful. Okay, so Dolet is over. I can only return to Bellum now. And I'm hoping that it's in Bellum. If it is not in Bellum, then I'm going to Windhill. But Windhill, in my opinion, was not one of the one of the cities that I have visited a long time ago. Windhill, in my opinion, is more like mid to recent game. So Bellum is right there. Wait a second. No, yes, it's right there. They are good, you don't get them anywhere else. That makes sense, but I was expecting something better. I was expecting a Chocobo Garden Forest, for example, but... That's not possible because we already have the greens. And we can use Boko from the Chocobo world as a Garden Force. But I was expecting something even more major. Not just a card. So, hello Bellum, you're my last hope. Are you guys hiding a magazine somewhere here? By the way, I'm getting hungry, so I think it is another time for Romeo and Juliet. And like I said earlier on the stream, Romeo and Juliet is this combination of cheese and guava paste, very popular in Brazil. Boko is right now, but last weekend he was at level 50. Okay, now he's 55. You watched the lake quest? Oh man. That lake quest was so bad. So bad. Extra painful. Not rewarding. Too complex. And even after the... The parts that you would imagine that were the hardest and, more, and, and most complex parts, no, it's not enough, here's another complex puzzle, solve it. So that side quest was only painful, but we did it. Not, uh, it's not something that I can say that I completely did on my own. I needed some help, I needed some yes or no questions and some hints, but thank god it's over, because it was so painful. He would have ruined everything, it's so nice and peaceful today. Should I bring Zell to my party? Wait, I can change my party whenever I want, right? Oh, 
no, actually, Zell is... Yeah, we need to change. Wait a second, I can't change my party members? Maybe I need to leave. Maybe on the overworld. But yeah, Zell and Irvine are underleveled in comparison to the others. So we are going to get them to our party. Oh, now I can switch. Nope, that was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Every time I hear a different town music, I'm asking card rules? The rewards are good? That's relative. They may be good, but they may not be the best ones. You don't want Questus? I do want Questus, but I do like to have my party members all around the same level. And last time we were playing with Selfie and Questus. And this area may have something to do with Zell, because this guy was asking about him. Hi Zell, how are you doing? Hey, how's it going? You know me, I'm always good. Good, make sure you stop by and say hi to your mom. We have done that before, right? So... Maybe we are not missing anything. Because we have been here, we have talked to his mom, we learned that uh, a girl with a pigtail was trying to find, to find him, which is another side quest. Uh, you are going to have another friend visit? I'm looking forward to meeting this person. Okay, let me check the card rules. We still have random in here. Not yet, because of the... Okay, you are playing dead? Why? Why here? Why now? And he plays cards. But we have random. Wait! O okay! I w <laughs> that was scaring me because I know I have found all the Timber Maniacs. And then suddenly another one! Not really. Thank you, game, for debating me. I know I have found all of them, so that was scary. But damn, what's that boy doing right there? It is better in here than in Final Fantasy XIV. He lost to a random card game. Oh, you mean that? That kid? That's why he's playing dead? That's how I feel about the, the lake side quest. Damn, if it is not in freaking Balland, where could it be? I will, but... 
but I I'm saving all those good items for the final moments of the game. Once I have everything set on my mind. Who is it who is spread random around the world? Not me! I'm two fourths. Two fourths? Two quarters? Two quarters, right? And I know that one of them is impossible for me to get because people told me that I lost my chance to get it. Yes, I have only those two right there. One of the issues is impossible for me to get by this point of the game. But last time I was making some questions about the one that I have missed. And I was able to learn something about it, even if I don't have it with me and even if I can't find it anymore. Yeah, those are the ones I have. Do you want to, to, to see what they have as content? So I have that one that talks about steel pipes and a dead body somewhere. And the other one talks about a ring, which I believe is this, which is the Solomon's ring. But there is an issue that I couldn't find, but I made some questions about it before. And the hint that Gabriel gave to me was that it talks about an item, a particular item, and that item was in one of the exams I have taken. So I was trying to remember which items were discussed in my exams, and I got to the item. The, the magazine probably was talking something about the Remedy Plus, but I have no idea what it has to do with this entire side quest. So even if I don't have the magazine right now, I was able to learn that the magazine I have missed has something to say about Remedy Plus, and I have that item with me. I don't know if I need to have like more than one, but that it is. I do have one at least. And then I'm trying to find the last or the next magazine to see if it can help me to combine all those random hints about the same thing. My favorite items is the magazine that you trade to zone. I... I have it. But thanks to the progress, the game got me stuck in that side quest, and I have no idea where zone is located anymore. So I have the feeling that I can't give that to him anymore, because the game is so far ahead and zone is missing. But I wanted, I wanted to finish this. Go back to the old save file, don't dance in, are you crazy? You know that if I miss stuff, I never return to them. Because then there is no fun in playing this game blind, if I can always retry and do things right, right? That's why I'm doing my best, but of course I want 100% it. I will miss things, I will fail at things, and we gotta live with that. You start over? You're telling me to start over? After... 141 hours playing this game. You know early is going to kill me, right? If I start start this over. Because early is super excited for me to play Riva next. He's going to kill me. I have been to the bookstore, yes. You are talking about the bookstore. The bookstore in Esther, right? It, they don't sell the occult magazines. What's going on in here? 
Hey, hey, I hear voices from down there. I hear a girl's voice too. Is it the girl with the pigtail? Wait. I can't leave. Oh, maybe because that's the balcony. There we go. It is! Finally! Hold up a second, Squall. Check that out. Zell, I really wanted you to read, read this. I'm glad I found you here. No! Wait, what the hell is that? Oh, it's Zell being nervous. Okay, um, a uh, lot kicker out, uh, no, no, like, I uh, require their. Uh, The magazine? Alright! If the tell time and look, is ink me a vast asshole. What a rough and firm heart. Sorry, had L you. Excelf. Really, the the way to get the magazine? It can't be the one I was looking for. Okay, it's another one. I would be super surprised or very impressed if it was the the Occult Fan magazine. It's Combat King number three, but come on, we already have that, don't we? We bought it on the bookstore. But okay, that was cute, nice, and now I can finally give a check mark to my side quest list and to that side quest, the girl with the pigtail. It's completed. But the item is something we were able to get before. Now you're a double combat king. Check out the way she walks. I believe I missed that, but she was maybe walking slowly and very serious. I always live from the balcony. <laughs> I got lost in that room. And I was thinking the stairs were like outside. Wait, my webcam is a bit laggy. Yeah, my CPU is at 100% Wait, I can try closing that uh, Did it get laggy or was it like that for some time? Garden forces, sure. I'm still missing three. Oh, it's better. No, it's still laggy. You need to do crazy amounts of stuff to get the true ending. I have been to the library many times. Abilities. Uh, do you have a specific one you want to check? I mean, most of them are completed, like Kazakoto, Shiva, Ifrit, Siren. The brothers are almost there. Uh, Diablos. Carbunko is also almost there. Leviathan is almost there. Pandemona is close. Cerberus is getting there. So does Alexander. 
Then Cactuar was the most recent one, so we need to get many of the abilities. And then we have the Thornberry. No, nobody yet. I haven't taught that ability to nobody yet. Uh, is the webcam still bad? No, it's better now. Okay, so let me know if things get worse. I probably won't have anything to do about it, but it is important for me to know if the stream is looking alright or bad. Because if it gets really bad, then we can try... I don't know, was pausing the game for some time and then waiting for the computer to to slow uh, to slower itself. Not yet. I'm still trying to learn the call shop ability. It's the one that he's trying to learn. Yeah, it's maybe I should grind, but yeah, it's still going to happen. Oh wait, that was a spoiler, right? <laughs> okay guys, don't let me know the garden forces that I'm missing, please. Yeah, that was a spoiler. It's okay this time, but the less I know, the, the better. I'm sorry, Rubito, I missed it, man. I, I couldn't understand why you were spamming Exodia. I overheard Galbadian soldiers talking about Esther. It's supposed to be su some super high-tech country, but nobody knows where it is. I wonder what what the people there are like. How how are the card rules in here again? They have random. Yeah, never mind. Don't worry, I know I know where to go if I want to grind the the garden forces. It's basically the Cactuar Island. Or the other places, right? We also found the... How is it called? Closest to Hell Island? And something of Heaven Island. Those places they have incredibly hard bosses and monsters. But those are... Those are good for leveling up as well, not only for the Garden Forces. Okay, so here's the problem and Gabriel, I'll need to make another question. Yes, I know that lady, but... She has never been helpful before, why would she be helpful now? Do you really want to get rid of random badly? If it is by talking to that lady, it's not like that. Because you can't really pick the the rule that she will erase. You see, she wants to give plus to this to, the, to this region. That's not what I want. to add plus it's not a good deal um, the rules in here are open random elemental I believe it has same as well yes yeah, same sun and death and she wants to add plus yeah, but she wants to add plus. I also don't want to have plus. Plus and, and random are the ones that I want to not have. So, Gabriel, I have returned to all the cities I wanted to return. Co 
couldn't find it. I will go to Windhill, but I don't think it's going to be there. Although I'm still missing something in the Windhill that I couldn't progress anymore. And I'm missing the vase pieces side quest in there. I could only find one vase piece. And I, I know I'm missing more. Right? Right there. Do you really, really, really want to get rid of random? Not yet. I mean, I would love to get rid of it, but if you're going to tell me an easy way to do it that I couldn't figure out by my own, save that for later when I really lose my patience about giving it chances to change the rules. That can be for later, in my opinion. You need to play a game in another region to change what she will do with the region rules? Yeah, right, Rion? Yeah, I'm still not at the breaking point yet, yes. It's pissing me off that every time I go to the to the bar in Dolet, uh, random is always in there. But I, as I still have other things to solve and to find, I'm giving it time and, and I'm being patient. You tried a lot of times to go to that place. Okay, Gabriel, question. Is it a place that I was able to access before? Or is it a place that it's blocked? I can access or is it blocked? Because you are saying you tried a lot of times to go to that place, that doesn't mean that I was able to get to it. Open is great, I agree. Open is super important. Just get better. <laughs> People told me to sell all my shitty cards, so I would only have OP cards in my deck, and then I could go for random for whatever. But I'm still trying to hold that. Yeah, that wasn't a yes or no question, but... I mean... I, I was just trying to explain my question, and by explaining my question it lost the yes or no characteristic. Why sell? I could craft, right? Yes. I could use them to craft other things as well. But it's the collectible feeling. I, I like to have all of them. I'm still waiting for Gabriel to give me an answer. He said that it's in a place that I have been many times, but I was able to really explore that place. Or is it blocked or locked or unaccessible? Meanwhile, I should explore this place. Maybe I should do another question as well. Gabriel, have I been to the place today? That's a good question. I know you guys want me to go to the Cactuar Island, and if I grind I will probably get the ability and probably by what you guys are saying, by calling the shop he's going to give me the magazine or to sell the magazine. That sounds like the cheesy way to do this. So before going to that strat, I'm trying the other path that Gabriel was trying to lead me to. Which is returning to one city, the magazine is in that city, and I want to find it. 
And hey Gio, how's it going, man? Ship Raider? Ship Raider forever in my heart, man. We need a Ship Raider remake. I will get bored if I grind? I want! We actually have done some grinding in, in other streams. Actually, fighting the monsters in this game have been very hard. So, I should be careful once grinding because I can die. Yes, and I have been to uh, all places a lot of times as well. That's why I'm asking him, but I'm not seeing him answering. If it was a place that I could explore before. Probably it was a place I could explore before. Yes, yeah, Subaru is saying it's the feeling of catching them all, all the 151 Pokemon. That's how I feel about the cards in this game. I like to have them all in my in my deck. Also, you never know when one of them is going to be special or important. So variety is always good. Okay, since I'm here. Should we talk about a different side quest? And please be vague. Do you guys know where the other vase pieces are located? And... Wait. Oh, okay, that's nothing. And should we talk about the vase pieces? Because I still need to find them. Someone I know is playing Final Fantasy VI, a uh, blind playthrough? Don't mention 151 Pokemon? Because it's more, right? It's like 800 and I don't know how many now. Can I give a really vague hint that won't help any bit? If it is really vague, sure. No, the vase, uh, I don't think I have them in my item list, but I know you can find pieces of a vase. Wait, 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 wait. It's vase, right? It's pronounced like vase. I just remember that. It's a vase. It's one of those shitty words in English that have a, a, a crazy pronunciation Vaz pieces yeah both work okay so vase or vase <laughs> I need to find the pieces of that it, I say vase because it sounds it, it makes more sense to me but I know it can be vase as well Wait, what the hell is that red thing on the floor? Yes, I saw that Gio, I talked to him. And I was not too surprised because he kinda hinted, he kinda gave hints of his next cover on Twitter. So I was already expecting him to, to do a cover of Persona 5. And best timing, because he has started playing it, he, he also has seen the Joker announcement for Smash Brothers, so it was his best timing to cover a Persona 5 song. Just use the French pronunciation which is Vaz. The Broken Heart of Rain. I tried to get that, but I couldn't, so... I was food by that thing but the vase has something to do with this house or this mansion i believe this is the woman that asks me to yeah you see my husband is very upset by the fact that the, va the vase is missing a ghost oh please there is no such thing is there
Wait, I pronounce J really good? Yoker? No, 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 no. It's because in Spanish. Okay, the J in Spanish is different than the J in Portuguese. Yeah, Gio. The J in Portuguese is not like in Spanish. In Spanish, maybe it would be like that. A yoker or something. But in Portuguese, it is Ja, Jo, Ju, Je, Ji. So it's like Joker. That was not in Portuguese, by the way. In Portuguese, it would be Joker. Yeah, Jo. Joker. So it's different in Portuguese. But I believe the sound of J in Portuguese is closer to the English sound than the Spanish one. I think I have only found one. Maybe two, but do I have it written down? Let me see. No, I haven't written it down. Maybe I have only found one. Uh, maybe he will tell me. There are quite a few pieces here. Here. So... Does he mean, like, in this mansion? Because I tried looking for them and I couldn't find. Although I just realized something, I was trying to look for the pieces. Like, at corners or... On the walls or something. Maybe they could be... Somewhere else, like... On the center of the room... Or somewhere around there... It's the Portuguese that is advantageous. But don't you say... Do you want me to say it in Portuguese? Uh, banjo Kazui. It's not Banjo, it's Banjo. Uh, banjo Kazui in Portuguese. Or Banjo Kazui in English. But Banjo. Because the letter J. Wait. Yes, I remember this weird leg. Uh, armor leg. That is randomly spotted right there. But it has nothing to do, right? With anything. It sounds so much like French. <laughs> Maybe in English you can write it like that, Gio. Yeah, Banjo. Banjo Kazooie. Let me know if you want me to say other things in Portuguese. It's fun, actually. Banjo? Yeah, I don't know French, but if I would need to read that, I would say Banjo. Wait! Are you kidding me? We, we have talked to this armor before. I mean, we tried at least. And only now it's doing something? Okay, I hope this is something good. I'm looking for my feet. Have you seen my feet? Yes, it's right there. Quit joking around, Irvine. Hey, 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 I didn't say anything. Yo, man, quit joking around. It ain't funny. So, do I need to give it to you? Because it's... Okay, guys, we are triggering something. And I can't believe it took me this long to trigger it. Because we have seen that before. It's a chikobo? It's a chikobo. I could see a small... Yes! A green feather. I can see a green feather right there. What's that green feather? What's this? Yes, we found another one! Okay, okay, that's two for sure. Yeah, that's the second one. But I'm surprised that it took me this long to finally be able to interact with the armor. Because in French the C is silent, so it's Banjo. Yeah, Banjo. 
Where find the ventriloquist? Yes, it's a ghost. But I'm shocked. I tried to, uh, to do something with that armor for a long time and I could never get the dialogue. Wait... Okay, Subaru is telling me in Portuguese that counting with this one, he remembers that I have found three. And this is the second one I have found related to a chocobo. I do remember finding one in the chocobo crossroad or something. And I may have found another one in one of the main... Oh, wait! I remember another one. We found another one in the flower shop. Yeah, there was one in the flower shop for sure. So, am I right? Was the second one with the chocobo, the crossroad? So this could be the third one, yes. Yeah, Gabriel said it right there, it's Bob Esponja. Yeah, Bob Esponja. And then... Patrick... Uh, Patrick... Uh, Patrick Estrela, which is the star, right? Patrick Estrela. And then... <laughs> Lula Molusco. Yeah, Lula Molusco is Squidward. Uh, Mr. C Mr. Krabs. How is Mr. Krabs in Portuguese? Oh yeah, City Cajun. Uh, Senhor City Cajun. Then you have Sanji. Uh, Sanji, not Sandy, it's Sanji. And then Plankton. Yeah, Plankton. Lula Molusco. Yeah, Lula Molusco. It's like this. But my Portuguese accent makes me say it like... Yeah, I pronounce it like that because of my Portuguese Brazilian accent. There are other places in Brazil that probably would pronounce it a little bit differently. But the place where I live has that accent. So I say it like Molusco. And other people would probably say it like Molusco. Molusco. But I say Molusco because of my accent. Anyways. It's because Gio was asking me about Bob Spo uh, Spongebob. Spongebob characters in Portuguese, and now I just said them all. It sounds like Russian? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe it sounds a little bit like Russian. Yeah, Mollusco sounds like Mollusk. And that's the translation, I think. Mollusk is a, is a word in English, right? At least I hope it is. Patrick? Yeah, Patrick. It's not Patrick, it's Patrick. In Russian? <laughs> if only I could speak Russian, right? I can speak Portuguese though. Matryoshka. Yeah, I, I can understand your connection in there. It does sound like it. But Molusco is our word for mollusk. So we have found three pieces. We are still missing one, right? Yes, one more. Okay, guys. I do think we should focus on this right now because we are almost there. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be painfully hard to find the last one. But I don't want to not leave Windhill until I find the last one. Then after finding this last vase piece, we can go back to the Solomon's Ring side, side quest. I'm betting whatever you get for this side quest is going to be worse than Noble Lake. Maybe, but at least this is easier than Noble Lake side quest in my opinion. <laughs> 
it's not as complex as Obelix. Yeah, it also feels like I could have done this earlier, but I couldn't really find the pieces. And I actually have no idea where the last one could be. But thankfully, only one more left. Okay, so does anyone in the chat knows where the last vase piece is? Don't tell me where it is, but I'm going to make some questions about it. If somebody knows where it is, I'm going to make some questions. And the first question is, is going to be if the piece is inside a building or not. Yeah, that would be my first question. But of course, in case somebody knows where the last one is located. The ones I could find were that one with the ghost, one in the flower shop, and if I remember it right, one with the Chocobo crossroad. That is... Right here. Yeah. It's just a phoenix down. It is in Final Fantasy 7, you gotta put that game back. You gotta put that game that game back in, find it, then smash both this together. Really, really hard. To transfer the item, then go back to Final Fantasy 8. What? So, from your reactions, I'm getting that nobody knows where the final piece is. So, we are probably going to take our time. Saburo didn't know about the side quest, yeah. Remito knows it, but he hasn't returned to it. Okay, so we are going to find this last piece together. I just need to be careful with my assumptions. Because I usually, as uh, I usually assume that an item or a secret will be like connected to an object or to a corner or something but sometimes it can be like in the middle of the room and I wasn't checking that so I should be careful with my own assu assumptions to be honest I don't remember how this side quest started but that was the second chocobo that had something to do with a piece.
So Rimito, if you haven't returned to this side quest, you don't know the reward, right? I always liked how the word together can be a sentence if spaced out to get her. Yeah, to get her. Yeah, Rimito don't, doesn't know the reward. bed, right? Yep, they are. Yeah, maybe it is something like that, but we never know. I would take a Phoenix Pinion. Especially because I have used my last one. Phoenix because of chocobos? Well... The chocobos dropped uh, a phoenix down. Yeah, the random the random rule is still going on. <laughs> yes, right, Rio. By the way, is the is my rank dropping? Because if it drops, I, I, I can't take tests anymore. So it's not dropping, right? It's going to be like that until the end of the game. still drop but then wait but then I don't have ways to oh this was where I found another piece I won't have ways to to increase it yeah wasting time not fighting not progressing walking wandering all of those things they drop the ranks By fighting, but I don't think it ever increased because I was fighting. At least I have never noticed it. Every time I wanted it to increase, I was taking exams. Yeah, who is watching you to even know? But yes, I'm not too worried with it or about it because we we are good.
So I have checked every house. There isn't anything in here, right? Level 31 is A rank. Yeah, it's cool. I, I was just curious, I was assuming that it wouldn't drop anymore because the tests were over. But it's not like a big deal anymore. With all the boss pieces we have found so far, we can pretty much say that it's going to be in this city. Because before I was also considering that it could be in other places, you know, other areas. where you can see chocobos so if the last one has something to do with a chocobo it's gotta be here but I'm pretty sure I could find one here so why would they have two and and when I was thinking that I was all done with chocobos in this game But I wasn't expecting the big one. I know, but trying to defend myself, right? I know I'm guilty. I, I take the penalty. Yeah, he was scared because I was... He, he could see me. But it wasn't like this before. They were not that worried about me. Anyways, I have no idea where the freaking thing is going to be. I also think this place is so puzzling, this area right here, because of that character right there, the one that's dressed in green. I don't know how to interact with that person. And they tell me to to watch out because of my I should be careful with the stairs and things but they don't do anything to me a, a tonberry do you mean the the big chocobo is like more a tonberry? Or is more like, right? Is more like a tonberry? Could it 
still be in the mansion? Yes, I was saying that we found one in the mansion, the other one was in the flower shop. I believe the third one was by kicking the chocobos. That also means that there was one in each area. So maybe the last one would be in this area right here. And my best guess would be the hotel, but I couldn't really find it in there. But the hotel is very suspicious as well. But I couldn't find it. Uh, Remito, what's that, man? Oh, is it somebody else? Uh, having the same problem with the chocobo? Hey, we have guests. Take care of them. We wa? Wait, we ya? I'm not staying because we have checked the room before. So what happened to that guy? Was it worse than me? I'm not opening opening it right now because my computer can die. Oh, it was your reaction? Okay. I could only read the the person Ezra Ezrazal, so I didn't know uh, which channel was it from, or it was from. This is driving me crazy already, and also. The room is getting hot. Do you remember if the first one was also related to a chocobo? The one we found in the flower shop? Because I thought it was just there. I don't remember a chocobo in the flower shop. Yes, and one in the flower shop, but the one in the flower shop, I don't remember if it was also related to a chocobo. Yes, that's what I remember. I was just clicking or pressing the button and then there was a, a piece. There was no chocobo. Yeah, the second one was in here. The chocobo in the crossroad. The flower shop was this one. And it was randomly there, in, uh, near those flowers right there. So maybe not all of them are related to a chocobo. Inside the house? Okay, for now that's enough. Let me try checking the houses again. If 
if I do need to guess, I was thinking it could have been in the in the hotel, but I couldn't find it in there. Maybe in the in this house. Yeah, the rank is is slowly. Decreasing. The quest is like a mini chocobo hot and cold game. I can see that. Yeah, it's not as not in a small town. It's in a big town. Save, right? I think yes, there are only the bottom floor and the top floor, or the second floor. Then there is the bar, but before I was here today and I couldn't see that crazy animation are you telling me that in order in order for this to happen first I will need to to trigger the the ghost in the armor or something and maybe the ghost was rain oh you do need to observe the flowers oh those flowers oh my god okay maybe i haven't checked those flowers but now i did because i was Checking everything, so yes, there is a lady upstairs. She's she's not very happy that we are we are here. Actually, now she's sitting. Wait, what? She was standing up before. Why are you sitting down? Yes, we did see the flowers downstairs. I arranged them every day to keep the memories alive. Those flowers keep the old fragrance in the air and give a fresh fragrance as well. It was everyone's utmost wish to keep those flowers here, for the woman who used to live here. She plays cards. But we have horrible rules. Was she really talking about the flowers before? Because I... I wasn't getting it. When she was f talking about like flowers in general, I was thinking, oh, maybe the flower shop? That I have been there before? But anyways, we did it. Let's see what was this for. And let's get excited for probably another shitty reward. And what we're doing right there. They are back to normal. I wonder what really happened. 
By the time I heard the strange noise, it was already in pieces. What's wrong with this armor? It was possessed by a Chikobo. Maybe it is the spirit of the Chikobo that died because we needed to restart the Chocobo World minigame. No, I'm just overthinking. But feels bad because of restarting the Chocobo World. Here we go! Wait, we have all the pieces! Thank you, all kind young ones. Here's a little thank you. Make use of it during your travels. A holy stone. So it wasn't a ghost after all. There was a chicable feather on both the armor and, and vase. Please use this holy stone which I will tend to use against the ghost. I'm pretty sure we have many of those, right? Yep. Shitty rewards. Thank you, I guess. <sighs> Such a painful side quest game, right? Okay. At least it's done. Boss pieces. Over. Even if we can't solve the freaking Garden Forest Ring, Solomon's Ring puzzle. We can say that something was done tonight, so it's it's good. But it was just a phoenix down. And now the the, the chocobos in there they are very very smart now. They They don't want to be kicked anymore. So guys it sounds ridiculous, it sounds ridiculous, right? Possessed by a Chikobo. But sometimes that happens. Sometimes people get scared of something, and in the end, the answer is something like super lame, like... Oh, it's not a ghost, it was just the window we left open, or, or something like that. But people get crazy and super scared of something that they at first don't understand, and then the answer is something dumb, like a window left open that was left open, or I don't know, maybe an animal, a cat, things like that. But okay, can we see your inventory? Sure. Do you have a particular type of item that you want to, to see? Uh, regular items? Then some special items, I would say, maybe materials. <laughs> so what you're saying is Final Fantasy eight's life lessons right now? Well, it can teach you something, right? That's for sure. Show me the inventory. Cactus thorns? Uh, let me know if you want me to return to one page if I skip it. But I'm trying to give you some time. The reward, Saburu, the real reward is going to be the one we will get after finishing the Solomon's Ring side quest. Because we know for sure that's going to give us a garden force. Wait, a whisper? We, we don't have that. this one. Okay, another... 
an another ability to quiz this. Remito, the answer is study. <laughs> Everyone is crazy about the white wind? Okay. I'm glad that I noticed that. Oh, we do have a Phoenix Pinion. Maybe Chocobo found another one. So those are the, the items. That is a good number, Kappa. <sighs> that what I was looking for? You mean the white wind? <laughs> that one that that was one Kappa HD, right? Oh the pinion, yeah. We have used one before. Uh, we know that it summons Phoenix. Alright, let's go somewhere else. Gabriel is not chatting anymore, so I don't think I'm going to get any more help from him. So, I'm going to follow your advice that I should grind. So, that's what I'm going to do while Gabriel is not back to the chat. So, let's go to the... Uh, White Wind existed in 7-2. Oh yeah, but getting those enemy skills in 7 were... Uh, it was challenging. Yeah, he was busy driving, traveling, I'm not sure what's going on. But he was trying to help me with... Oh! There he is! So, I was... I just finished one of the... One of the side quests, I could find all the Voss pieces. And I'm going back to the Solomon's Ring side quest. But I was at first following your hints about what I should be doing in order to solve that. And what I should be doing to find the last magazine, or the next one. And you told me to visit the cities. I went back to all of them, and I still couldn't find anything. So, do you have anything else to say? Like, have I been there to the city that could have had the magazine? Have I been close to it? Because otherwise people want me to grind. And... While I don't know what to do, I feel like I should be grinding. But if you give me some more answers about the hints I was following, maybe I can try looking for that thing again. The city and really close tonight. Yeah, Remito, but there would grind the the party members' levels as well, not only the the garden forces. The doctor's outfit. He was called Odina, right, or something? Odin. Odin. Yes. Tonight, last week, and previous week. Another question. Do I need to talk to people in order to get it? I'm expecting the answer to be no.
I know Joe Dancing, but it's good because that excludes the places I haven't been today. So it's not in Travia, it's not in Esther, it's not in the Centra area. It's good, it's good. It locks me to Dilling City, Bellum, Timber, and I really suspect of Timber for some reason. Your sound was cut. I'm asking you if, in order to get it, do I need to talk to someone? That's that's the, the question. Is it necessary for me to talk to a person? That's all I want to know. And I'm expecting the, the answer to be no. Because I talked to almost everyone, and nobody gave me anything. So dealing timber, balum, uh, dollet, and maybe windhill, but we have been to it right now and we couldn't find anything in there. Besides the vase pieces, so we are pretty much good. Okay, so I believe I get what you're saying. If it is considered talking, it's going to be a card game, wasn't it? Is it a card game? You can tell me. Because it's sounding like a card game, and if it is a card game, then I solve it right now. The, the question is, who should be asking for a card game? Yeah, Dollet has the... The guy that's blocking the second floor of the bar. Yeah, that's missing in Dollet. Oh, another side quest that we still have listening here, but I don't think I have any control over it. Wait, it's not a card game? Wait, what? It is considered talking, maybe, but it's not a card game? that you guys are following two different paths to the same objective which is getting the last magazine I believe Gabrielle is following the path that is like the right way to get it but Rimito is mentioning a shop because I believe you guys want me to get the call shop so I can buy it from a shop directly which I don't think is like the right way to do it, but I'm not, I'm not saying it's not doable by those means. But... Yeah. Not saying that there is a wrong or right. I'm just saying that there, there was maybe a more intentionally way or intentional, intentional way for doing it, which is the card game, I guess. And then the other way would be by using that ability but I don't want to get it by the intentional way intentional intending I'm not sure intended maybe yeah intended way I have no idea because I I still need to call the shop try to get a, to get rid of random but you know what no 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 i have another another idea let's grind 
let's learn that thing let's see what it is about so then I don't get more information about it and then I will see by myself if I can use it to get the magazine or not so let's just grind Cactuar and see what's that ability about In the meantime, I'm going to think about the card game with people in other places. The problem is, I also asked Gabriel earlier if if the side quest of finding the magazine was related or not with another side quest. And right now with that card game thing, I can only think it is connected to a side quest and he told me it isn't. Or he told me it wasn't. Because now I really suspect that I need to beat the guy in Dolet to get it. But that's another side quest on my list. Thank you, Rion. Thank you, Joe Dancing. You should be clearing the list of things you know you can do. Yeah, but... They are, like... How can I say it? They are... I I'm running out of those things, you know? Wait, where are the, the cactuars? Because usually when I can't progress in a side quest, then I progress. I, I progress on plot. But the thing is, the thing is that if I do plot right now, it's going to backfire me hard. So that's why I have been really patient and taking my time with those side quests because I don't want to lose them and then I won't be able to return to them even if I'm stuck, even if I still don't know the answers for them. Yeah, don't do plot. Jet engine? No, I will, I will grind it here because now I'm personally curious about the call shop ability. So, you guys said some things about it, but I'm going to check it out by my own. And if it has a magazine or not, let's figure it out. If it has it, I'm not discarding the other option of having the card game against that guy because it's something that I really wanted to do for a long time. It's only thanks to the random rule that I still haven't done it. But yes, now I want to see the call shop thing. What it is about. And what happens if I use it. Riker wants me to do plot, get to Final Fantasy IX. You need to be more patient, man, because even after Final Fantasy VIII, I'm still going to play Riven. And Riven is probably going to be a long game as well. But of course, not as long as this, for sure. I did all the shitty side quests first, so that's good. That's good, because... I remember that I was always complaining, my, oh my god, Final Fantasy VIII, where are the side quests? I can't find them, there, there are no side quests, I have been exploring the entire overworld without finding anything. And then, out of nowhere, 
I got many side quests at once. And once I was trying to finish one side quest, I was finding more and more, and in the end they were all stacked on my list here. And I couldn't solve none of them. Or maybe I should say any of them. Until I could finally focus, and then like, okay, tonight we are going to do Chocobo. So let's finish the Chocobo side quest. And then in the other day, we decided to do the Obel's Lake side quest. And today I, I gave more attention to the Voz pieces. Because yes, the side quest started to come. And I was like, where are the solutions? Don't give me more. But I asked for them, right? So that's my that's my punishment. I just wish they were more rewarding. But it's okay though. It's okay. Final Fantasy VII side quests were rewarding. And it was super fun to, to solve them. So it was... Who was it? Who was it again? Pandemona, maybe? Yes, so let's give that to, to her. Then Cerberus. Oh, let's try getting that. Depends on if you prefer to grind or if you want to play triple tried. Both are awesome, but if triple tried has random rules, it's not happening. But don't worry, I will still f have a card game against that guy. It was one of my objectives. I was waiting for the proper moment, but if it if it never happens and if I decide to like. Okay, everyone, we are going to progress the plot, so it's now or never, and it's the only thing left for us to do, so it's gotta be now. If, the, if I get to that point, then I'm going to card mod my shitty cards and have a card game against that guy with random, if I need to. I miss two, I miss three. At least I'm missing three. But I know I can get one at least. Midgar's key? Midgar's key took me forever to find it. But I'm so happy that I never gave up. Never gave up. And the day came to, re to reality. It became a reality. more than that, yes, I'm missing three, but maybe two are like lost forever, which I don't know and I kind of don't want to know, but what I know I can still go after it, which is related to the Solomon's ring. I know I'm missing a clue, because all the other clues they don't make sense to me, that's why I was trying to find the last magazine. And I will keep trying to find it tonight. But I know I'm missing something, it's because it doesn't make sense. No, there is a third one, man. You see, th there is three spaces there. Or there are, there are three spaces there. No, I'm not giving up and I'm hungry again, so pause break again.
actually Riker. I I also don't know if you are supposed to get them in a particular order. But after after some time playing this game, the order lost the meaning. <laughs> 